along with another 400 of Asherah's prophets, defeated them. God rained down fire from heaven, vindicated him, and then he hears this crazy woman by the name of Jezebel saying, if by this time I don't have you, you will be dead by this time tomorrow. Get to stepping. So now watch this. Here he is, has just defeated 400, 850. 850 false prophets. God vindicated him and he let one crazy woman drive him insane. To the point where he said, Lord, I wish I was dead. Yeah. Yeah. You mean tell me you can have an 850 votes and you're going to let one person set you off in the world? All right, let me see if I can make this even plainer for you. You mean to tell me that out of the universe that is continuing to expand, that's over 20 billion years old, and in the universe, there are billions and billions of galaxies. And we are in the galaxy known as the Milky Way that has over 200,000 solar systems. We're in the solar system that has, that used to have nine, but been down with it's eight planets, that has eight planets. You're on the planet Earth with over seven billion folks, and you're going to let one set you off you just in the you entire universe. <coughs> That's what can happen when you fall in the state of depression. He said the planning was there are three primary reasons, you may want to write these down, three primary reasons, reactions rather, that can lead to depression. The first one is indecision. Indecision. Failing to make a decision that can lead to depression. Okay. We'll talk about that in just a moment. The second one is Anger that can lead to depression. And the third one is a sense of injustice. It's 12 that can lead at this to point. Still got another three. So what are three? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Indoor. Indoor. Alright, a sense of injustice. Alright. So let's 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 look at those for a moment. Indecision. Anybody in here procrastinate beside me? Do you constantly put off making a decision? I want you to wrestle with that, marinate on that. Do you po po postpone decisions because you're afraid to say no or you're afraid you might hurt somebody? <laughs> Many depressed people have a sense of powerlessness because they fail to make a decision. You use your energy to make a positive decision. That's a good way to avoid depression. So here's a word of encouragement. Some of you all just need to go ahead and make a choice about what you're going to do with your Thank life. You. Thank you. That'll, that, 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 that'll help break that, 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 that blue folk as far as your life is concerned. Just need to make a choice. And you need to stop letting things happen to you and start making things happen for you. How? James said in uh, James uh, chapter 1, verse 6 to 8, But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. When you fail to make a decision, you are acting double-minded. Because you know a decision has to be made, you're just afraid to do it. Indecision is often a precursor to depression. The second one was what? Anger. Anger. I don't know why we've been dealing with you know, we've been dealing with that, but anger keeps popping up. The most concise definition of depression I've heard is this: is that depression is frozen rage. Depression is frozen rage. That sometimes you are depressed because you are angry and you have not dealt with it. If you have a consistently serious problem with depression, you may have not resolved some area of anger in your, in your life. 
Why are you still holding that grudge against mom and daddy? Because they didn't treat you the way that you thought you should have been treated when you were young. Why, you, why do you constantly and consistently hold on to, to, to something that, uh, 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 to a situation that you need to let go of and forgive? Anger. And if you notice it, if we could just be honest for a moment, that when you're angry with someone and you have not forgiven and you have not resolved it, they've gone on with their life, but every time their name is brought up, every time they show up, they cause you to get the will of them. They've gone on with their life, but every time they come into your space or every time their name is mentioned, you just go, oh. Something hits you in the pit of your stomach, you start sweating, you get a headache, your eyebrows go up, you get that smirk on your face. That's anger. And if you're not careful, it puts you in a state of depression. What's the last one? The sense of injustice. Now, don't get me wrong. All of us should be concerned about injustice and wickedness in the world. But perfectionists have a very disproportionate sense of justice and injustice. And there are some things that we think that are unjust, but we don't have all the facts. So we'll make a judgment call based upon something that we don't know everything about. Injustice, surrender, cleanse, and control, hear this, by the Holy Ghost, can be a useful instrument in the hands of God for spreading spiritual, spiritual, I mean, scriptural holiness and reforming the nation. Let me say that again. Injustice that is surrendered, that is cleansed and controlled by the Holy Spirit becomes a good instrument in the hands of God for spreading scriptural holiness and reforming the nation. Which nation? If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will heal, forgive their sins and I will heal the land. When I look at this situation as the Trayvon Martin uh, uh, incident that's on television, I don't know how that's going to turn out. Z Zimmerman may just walk. Because here it is. In this country, the United States justice system is not very uh, 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 fair when it comes to treating black men. 